Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Crimson Dynamo Wave Black Widow. So you get the leg with there, you get all the accessories on the side. It has a cool little drawing or picture of Black Widow from the movie. It's interesting how like the movie will be out in November and the, I wonder if these figures will be re-put into the stores. I don't know. It'll be kind of interesting though because they're, they're going to have the movie out in November and then no figures. Anyways, we'll get, this, get her opened up and check out the details. So first up, she comes with the right leg of Crimson Dynamo. Cool. She also comes with the same like taser batons that we got with the Amazon uh, box set a years ago, but they're just unpainted. We also get two fisted hands uh, with a little bit of gray paint on the tops of her hands. And two pistols look really cool. They're just black though. All right, so looking at Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, it looks just like her to me. I think this looks awesome. Uh, her hair is just nice dark red. It's got a little bit of a black wash in there, give it some more depth, which actually looks really good. But the facial, I mean, recognition, you know, photo thing they use looks, it just does a great job on these figures. Coming down the front of her suit, you can see nice black, it's in sculpted, it's got a nice shine to it. Otherwise the flat black on the front with the gray, uh, does have some red on the inner sides of the shoulder, like padding. I think the belt looks really cool. Um, but all the sculpt looks really nice on the suit. Definitely one of my favorite Black Widow suits from the movies. I think this one looks really cool. Um, it's got the nice gold paint on the front here and the little black, I mean, not black, red Black Widow emblem right there in the front. One with on her wrist, it's got the nice gold paint there for her weapons. On the back here, you can see more of that red inlay on her little pack here, which actually looks really cool. Gets a little sloppy up top here. It's focus. Sorry about that, but yeah, you can kind of see right there. It's a little sloppy, at least it's on the back. But otherwise it continues with that flat uh, black on the back here. And she does have holsters for her guns, which is awesome. No holsters for the batons, but most likely I will just be using the handguns for her. But overall, I think this suit is really cool. Nice and sleek. Um, the black boots there. Very tight, firm joints. She's got pretty flat feet, so she should stand pretty good. The boots are nice and glossy, but overall, I think this is a really cool looking Black Widow figure. So we're going to get over go over the articulation. All right, so going over articulation, head looks left and right, looks down, pretty good. Up, not so much, the head definitely hinders articulation, bumps into the pack there. Got balls joints in the shoulders, going down, forward, and back. Got a, no upper bicep, so still single jointed elbow, which bends pretty far back. Also rotation at the elbow, rotation at the wrist, also a hinge at the wrist, She does have that like ball peg in the upper body, she's gonna rock all around. Arch pretty far back. Forward, not so much. And the legs can kick up, not too high. And then she does have the upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and the belt definitely shifts around, which is great, so it doesn't get stuck or anything. She has no boot swivel. Uh, ankles move up, they move down. She does have nice ankle rockers and peggles the bottom of her toes. All right, I'll show you guys how tall Black Widow is. And really quick, here she is holding her uh, pistol and her baton. She holds them very well. And then there's one I holstered right there for you. That looks very cool. All right, now I'll show you guys how tall Black Widow is. All right, so Black Widow stands a little under six inches tall. And here she is next to the end game Black Widow, which has the very much the same, same uh, body mold, just different feet and a little bit extra added onto her. And then here is the other Black Widow movie figure. Along with, here's that, geez, which I'm trying to remember now, um, Age of Ultron Black Widow from the Amazon box set. And then we also have the Winter Soldier Black Widow, which was my favorite for a while. It's still a very cool figure. It's kind of crazy how many movie Black Widow figures we have now when it used to just be the Mandroid wave and everyone was like going crazy for that figure. But very cool to have all these different, you know, the whole evolution of the MCU Black Widow. I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I think it's an awesome figure. I really do. I think it's a nice, solid figure. It comes with a good amount of accessories. I do wish she could hold her her baton somehow, but I'm happy she can hold her her, her handguns. So if you want to have her holding her batons, at least she got the handguns holtered. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't. Take care.